3D Piano and Sheet Music Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Laniha Jensu. Uh, we decided to go with a music theme. My design has a piano style at the top and then sheet music that wraps around the tip. It's really kind of pretty and elegant in a strange funky sort of way, which is, I think, probably describes me pretty well too. Maybe? I don't know sometimes. Um, her design is very pretty, elegant, simple with gorgeous negative space and it's just it's like I said it's really pretty and if you haven't been to her channel before you might want to check that out. I'll put a link in the description box below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new that would be fantastic and then you won't miss any of my future videos. So I'm going to begin by creating the piano keys at the top and I'm going to start with a white key so I'm going to add a thin white overlay and I'm just going to square it off at the bottom so I'm starting at the cuticle and I go just it's not quite the full nail bed length down, but just you can do however long you want and then dip a floss pick into some clear acrylic polymer and then use that to create your piano keys to separate them. It's really easy and you want to do that when your white acrylic is about halfway or 75% set when it turns matte. That's the time to start. And then I'm going to be putting some gray acrylic over the top of the keys. It doesn't have to be super thick, but you just want to make sure you get it in all those grooves that your floss pick created. And then I'm going to make an overlay down the tip with more of that same color of gray acrylic. And I'm just going to take that all the way down. And I don't, I'm not worried too much about making this very thick at this point. And then I'm going to be filing the gray acrylic mostly off the keys, but you want to make sure that you don't file all the way through and you want to leave the gray acrylic between the keys to separate them out. And also file at the bottom or the yeah the bottom of the keys that's going to really define that line that they had and then i'm going to be using black acrylic and i'm going to be sculpting out the black keys and one other thing if you wanted to you could have taken and you could have filed the bottom of the white keys before you put the gray acrylic on them after they had set and after you put the grooves in you could have just taken a file and quickly run over the tip to make sure that that was nice and straight when I looked at mine, I thought they were plenty straight enough, so I didn't decide to take that extra time. Uh, but you definitely could if you want to. That would just make it look a little bit more square and perfect. It's completely optional. There's absolutely no rules in the world of creation, creationing of nails. <laughs> creationing of nails, that's a new one. Something. <laughs> oh dear. Um, and then I'm going to be encasing the nail with a layer of clear acrylic. And when I'm doing this, I want to make sure that I cover up the black keys and try to level that out. But I'm not going to try to make it really bulky here. A lot of that's going to get filed off anyway. But I just want to... I want to make the least amount of filing for myself as I possibly can. And so you want to make sure that it's nice and smooth near the black keys. But if... You don't want to make it overly thick either. Just, you know... This also, this clear acrylic is going to give that nail a lot more strength than just that gray is going to along the tip. So then, as I mentioned, I'm going to be filing with a 180 grit file and buffing with a 240 grit buffer to remove all the scratches that the 180 grit file left behind. And that's just going to make it nice and smooth and apply your gel sealer and cure it. Buffing before the gel sealer makes the gel sealer go on a lot smoother and it just gives the overall nail a soft quality that you can't get if you don't use that. And now on a nail form backing, I'm going to be taking a pretty large amount of white acrylic and I'm going to be forming it into a very, very long, skinny rectangle. And I'm just going to pat that out and make sure it's nice and square and straight looking and just keep working on that for a second. And then after that has turned matte, so where it's no longer shiny on the surface and you'll if you do things like this where you have it on a nail form backing and you pick things up when they're not quite set, eventually you do kind of learn the moment to pick them up. Um, and then I'm going to wrap that around the tip of the nail just like so. So it does take some practice and some intuitive uh, just knowledge to know when to pick them up. But if you do practice at it, it doesn't take much to learn the moment when you need to pick things up, when you need to pick up the acrylic. Um, but then I'm going to take some clear acrylic and I'm going to put it underneath my white sheet music here and there just to help adhere it to the nail and make sure that there's no extra gaps. And now on a post-it note, I'm going to be drawing out my treble clef. So I'm just doing that with a pen at the size that I want it to be. And then I'm going to put a nail form backing over the top of it and you can see the treble clef through it that you drew out. And then using gel paint, I'm going to be painting out my treble clef on the nail form backing. 
And when you're using gel paint like this, you want to make sure that you don't have an excess amount or it's going to run together. So then you're going to cure that fully. And now I'm going to be adding another coat, curing it. And I did this for four total coats. So it was coat, cure, coat, cure, coat, cure. And then I took and you can peel it off the backing after it's completely cured that last time. And as you can see, it is still flexible. And since it's still flexible, we can bend it up and around the edge of that sheet music and attach it to the nail on either side and over the middle. So you can take that and hold it down and try not to glue yourself to the nail, which is what I did just at that moment. If you missed that, that is what happened. In a video, um, my Coke bottle video, I mentioned that I try to avoid using nail glue because I have a tendency to glue myself to things. That is absolutely true. And recently, I have been venturing outside my comfort zone and using nail glue more often. And twice recently, I have glued myself to what I was working on to my nails. And as much as that is unfortunate, I think I might be getting over my nail glue phobia, but I have lost skin. <laughs> That's a little detailed. Anyways, I'm now going to go through and add my lines on my sheet music. So just go through and do it short and short strokes and patience is a virtue in this moment and then add your notes and if you are a music buff and you have a song that you'd like to put on this that would be uh, such a cute little touch that probably nobody would know but you but it would be a fun little thing that you could tell people i just did this totally randomly and then i'm going to take matte top coat and apply it over the sheet music and you want to make sure that your acrylic paint is 100 percent dry before you start messing with it like that and then you are all set thank you so much for watching i hope you like this design and don't forget to check out Lenny has design as well in her channel and i will see you in my next video bye